Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Gorgeous. I'm going fishing. I was going fishing. Or at least I'm trying to go fishing. But then we've got this mess. What? Oh. Got everything loaded up, ready to go. Put the key in the ignition and it goes in but it won't turn. It's stuck. So there's a problem with one of the tumblers in the lock mechanism. So I've got it stripped apart and I think I found the problem. So we're just gonna kinda temporarily fix it. So hopefully we still might get a chance to go out today, but we'll have to see how long it takes for me to put it back together again. So let me show you the other part. All right, so I've got the lock assembly taken apart and these are those little tumblers and they're the kind of like the, uh, the keyways there that when the key is inserted like this, it's supposed to put all these little tumblers down. So like they're all pretty much sitting down. So then the tumbler can turn. But then you got one dude here that's gotta be a prick and it's stuck in there because of corrosion or just got worn out. But see, it is wedged in there. I can't get it down. So that is the cause of our problems why with that one stud sticking out it won't turn because it's locked so i'm going to try to remove it clean it well i was going to say i was going to put it back but that's kind of a challenging it's probably easier for me to just uh take it apart and just leave it out because i've got 10 other keyways so let me do that real quick and then if that goes well I'll put it back together again and maybe go out fishing and there is our problem that little pointy thing there is sticking up it's caused a burr basically is what it is and that is what was causing that cylinder to not recess so i could sand it down put it back but i think i'm just going to leave it out all right we got it back in again stuck the key in Give it a turn, bam. Ignition on, boom, 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 boom. We are golden. All right, now I just gotta see if I remember how to put it all back together again and see what time we got. All right, got everything together, no extra screws. Let's see if this thing works. Oh, well, need to hook up the battery first. All right, try number two. Didn't get any smoke of wiring, so. You betcha, baby. Nice. All right, let me put these plastic covers on and see what time we got left. All right, I think we're going to give it a go. It is. Bam. Nice. I remember my code, so that helps. It's 3 o'clock, 2.54. So our options are not to go way far anywhere. So we're gonna stick in close. So I think we're gonna go to the seven mile bridge launch and just hang around there. So let's get on going. Look at those sexy garbage cans being put to work. Doing spring cleaning. Notice the uh, ice chest getting thrown away. I'm not a hoarder. I could let it go. Took me three hours to kind of convince myself but I'm over the cold sweats, but I got rid of one of my ice chests. So I'm doing okay. Well, I got some baby pilchards. That's always a good sign glass meadows uh, but we made it had a little bit of disruption at the boat ramp but otherwise we are on the water so i'm going to do a quick run around oh fish right there dang it don't spook them don't spook them there's tarpon right there there's that log and then to the right of them there's like three of them What are we gonna do? Well, let me get set up here. All right, I got something just perfect for these guys. Schmino time. All right, I think they're right underneath that weed bed there. So I can get them to come out a bit. That's nice. 20 feet from the launch. We don't have a lot of time. What you gotta do? 
All right, there's a couple of them. Oh. Well, that needlefish is looking at it. A little bit more. Oh. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Looking at it. Don't do anything. Oh, got it. Oh. He got it and spit it. Dang it. That spooked everything. <laughs> All right, there we go. Not do anything. Just got to keep your line straight. There they are. They're coming out. All those snappers are there. Unfortunately, you kind of get one shot and that's it. Snappers, snappers. Well, can't beat that. Well, if I would have caught it, I guess could have. But yeah, you got all this bait here. There, there's going to be stuff around. Plus, we're perfect kind of a higher tide. Now it's just a matter of do you leave fish to find fish? Throw it in the tree, maybe. Throw it in the tree, maybe. There it goes. Yeah, I've, I've spooked these guys out. All right, I think we're moving on. All right, hit a couple of tarpon spots on the Gulf side. We'll run through and uh, go to the Atlantic side. Check to see if there's any uh, pilchards in the bait shop. And then maybe take a look on the flats for some kudas. It's a looking a little bit wobbly out there, so visibility is not going to be so good. So that's going to narrow things down to probably uh, kudas if I don't find any pilchards. So let's see what the conditions are on this side. Yeah, a little bit rocky out here. there and got pinned up. All right, let's see if we can find some pilchards at least. All right, let's see if we can spot any uh, flashes down on the bottom here. We want schools of flashies. Little flashies. Little flashies. We had some good winds the last couple of days, so it's got things kind of churned up out here. Little flashies. All right, no pilchards in the old swimming hole. I don't see any birds out here either. So it might be a no pilchard uh, day here. But we'll get out here and throw some kuda tubes at the white spots while I'm looking for pilchards. All right, we'll drift these uh, sand holes, throw the cuda tube a little bit. I haven't seen anything around. Visibility's too hard for uh, bonefish. Water's too high, dirty, and choppy, so I think cudas will be about it. Maybe some jacks. No bait. But beautiful sun. I'll take it. Ah! Oh no, I got him. Oh! I got him. Came back running at me. <laughs> I thought I lost them. He's a good one. Oh, there's another one by him. Greedy Steve. I need double cuda tubes. Oh, oh, a turtle. Uh, yeah, yeah, buddy. It's a pretty good one. The same old trusty 
stubby cuda tube. I mean, this is like probably about 10 nice cudas I've caught in the same tube. Usually they definitely don't last this long. This one's got the uh, treble hooks that are all jacked up and gnarled up. Tried to get it out of their mouths. Surprised it's still there, but it's working. Come on, baby. Oh, hate when they do that. That's when they kick it. So I'm right by US 1, so right off the launch area here. Got ourselves a nice coot on. Oh, and it came off. Here I am yakking. Let's see the the treble hooks. Eh, not too bad. Probably not the sharpest. No, it's still tacky. But yeah, I played around too much, but nice. I'm happy with that. I take that. I'm always trying to work these edges. Edges where it's got the turtle grass on the dark and then it gets to the white sand out here to the open. And then, uh, oh, Sharky Shark there, trying to sneak up on me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Big lemon shark. Uh, but food is in the grass, and no food is out here in the plain sand. It's like if you're out in a desert versus a forest grassy trees and everything out there life that's where the food's going to be and not too much out here but these big predators will hang out just on the edges there uh just waiting for stuff to come out from the food area so i always love just working these edges and you can kind of see how the edges run out that way wind is going basically from uh, atlantic south to the north so it's pushing perfectly along these edges so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go run to the other sides of the flats to the seven mile channel and then because that's another north to south channel drift along with the wind and then just chick cast out to the channel and see if we could uh, catch anything here that's deeper water over there so I don't really find too many but might find some kudas along the edge all right we've gone full circle around the little island uh, back to the launch. I'm going to check on these tarp in here while I've got a little bit of sunlight and I can see pretty well. I think the current has changed. Here's look at all this bait in here. I'm pretty sure the current turned. So now it's got going out towards the Atlantic which is good for the bridges and stuff but I don't have time to do any of that so I'm going to try to see if I can get on these tarpon. And then uh, once I start losing some visibility or if I'm just not able to do it, then I'm going to go back to some uh, kudas on the Gulf side flats. So now that the tides are running the right direction, maybe find some of the uh, tarpon out there in the channels as well as the sun starts setting and we get to magic hour. So let's see what we see. Man, a lot of glass minnows in here. Imagine there's got to be more fishy. Yeah, because those tarpon I came earlier were facing this way. Now, because the current's going that way, they would be facing that way. So it did flip-flop on me. Let's see if we can find some. I'm going the right direction too because I'll be coming from the backside, so I could sneak up on them a little bit better. Oh, I might be screwed here because all these weeds, they're all pushing down all through there. So until that all empties out, it'd be hard seeing stuff. Plus that freaks the fish out too. I wanted to go out to the next couple of islands out there for tarpon, but I just don't have the time. Got to stay around the launch here. All right, so what to do, what to do. Tarpon spot, kind of bit of a run, but I think I would have enough time to get there. Although I don't know the conditions, if it's gonna be all weedy like this and then I'd be screwed. Or I could run to the flats on that side, throw for uh, kudas, which is 
fairly consistent, although I haven't been seeing very many bigger ones. I did get a really nice one out there already. What to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna make the run out there. Yeah, I'm gonna make the run for another tarpon spot. It's kind of a risk, but oh well. It is what it is. I already got that one nice cuda, so. Man, weeds over here. That's not good, but I see something pretty over here. Not shiny, but bright. Looks like a nice one. Ugh. Come over here, buddy. I'll save you. Wow, that's a nice bobber. Weighted, big chunky one. Yeah, that's a big tarpon bobber there. Oh, that guy, pretty. I haven't seen a teardrop shape like that. Cool. All right. And unfortunately, this is all blown out as well. It's all full of weeds all the way through there. Um, sometimes it's a good thing because uh, it'll be carrying food in these weed mats. So I'll keep an eye if I see anything rolling or feeding, but in general, this looks blown out. Bombers. All this stuff is just blown out, so back to plan B. So we're going to run all the way back to the launch and then go right in front of the flats there. So let's see if we can get there before the sun drops. All right, let's see if we can get a Hail Mary Cuda here. Then maybe throw the uh, Shimino in the channel there for a last minute tarpon. We're rushing, we're rushing. Where you at, cooters? Show yourself, cooters. Fan cast and move, fan cast and move. Sun is dropping. Race against the sun. I do want to throw my fly in the channel there before it gets totally dark. I'll do one more fan of these Cuda tubes and then hopefully I could stop before I go into the channel. Get the fly out. Come on, Cudas. Hail Mary Cuda. Sun is setting. Must get a bite. All right, there goes the sun. Here comes the Shimino. We don't see any fishies feeding on the top, but you never know unless you throw. Let's see if we can get some fly action going here. Well, we've got a beautiful painted uh, sunset. I switched over to the uh, two and five eighths inch paddle tail because the current is just ripping so much. Put the fly out there and that fly line just gets dragged. Oh, weeds, lots of weeds. Not seeing any activity. That's another thing why I'm out here. Oh, dolphins. I'm seeing dolphins and eagle rays. Lots of eagle rays around. But not seeing much beyond that. More uh, dolphins. More dolphins. More dolphins. Should go and catch those guys on fly. Yeah, they're strung out all along there. Now look at that sunset, it's angry. Man, look how bright that is. All right, I think I'm gonna start wrapping things up here. I was kind of hoping to see some uh, 
juvenile uh, tarpon rolling out here but not seeing that Nothing getting busted on. Nothing tailing except the eagle rays. And the dolphins. So we might mosey on back. All right, we're losing the sunlight, the sunset light. So we're gonna call it a day. Head on back to the launch. All right, we are back. Seven o'clock, not too bad. <laughs> Fix the car. That's a huge, huge plus there. So that works good, no problems. Shouldn't have any problems for a while there. Uh, got in some fish, nice cuda, played with a little tarpon. Uh, learned, well, it was a good shakedown run because I know that my motor works, all my equipment's there, I didn't forget anything. Um, no pilchards around, no mullet around, not a lot of tarpon around. So that was good to know. So tomorrow I'm gonna make another run out, everything's loaded up, so all works out pretty good but uh yeah so that's kind of a scramble and three or four hour day but uh anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye